Call on Maurice Collins and you're in for a shock, as long as he can pick his way through his hall. Hi. Hi, how are you? Come on in. Oh my goodness me, what a hallway. <laughs> Have you got enough things in here? Well, just a few of the items in the collection which you uh, would you like to have a look at? This is a clockwork cheese made from 1902. Um, it's the pride of my collection. It, it, how it works is, is you set the alarm. When the alarm goes off, it knocks a lever, which knocks a lever, which knocks a lever, which causes a match to strike on a piece of emery cloth, which lights a paraffin lamp, which boils the kettle. When the kettle is boiled, it automatically pours into the teapot. And this rather weird looking thing, what is this? Well, this would be to stop your moustache getting covered in soup. You would take your soup very gently up and it would protect the moustache from getting it all over, making him look rather foolish. This, for example, is a clockwork burger alarm, but again, very, very early. This would have been on the door uh, of a chateau. This is a portable shoe remover. So this all comes out and fits in like that. And there you have it, and that would take your boots off. Over the heel? Yep. This is an absolute treasure trove of the weird and the wacky, and I've got to say they did love their massages. This one can be used either for your feet or for your hands. Look at where that one goes. Hi, right, Phil. Just to complete your total physical makeover, let's try the very latest in... And that is? <laughs> and there you are. This will massage you like nothing else. Get it off. <laughs> Phil, you know in this, uh, in this weather you require to keep the flies off your food. Cool. Well, certainly in Victorian times they had that problem. And this was the ultimate in fly protection. So what would happen, it's clockwork, you would wind it up, and then very, very slowly it would turn and keep those flies away from your food. It's a genius, isn't it?